Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's me, DJ King. I am feeling relaxed and rejuvenated from my beach trip that I did. And I carried my, um, where is it? <laughs> I carried this a few more days after getting back. It was such a good carry. My Dooney and Burke, the nylon messenger crossbody bag. It was perfect for the occasion coordinated with everything I had on and it just worked lightweight, spray it down, no complaints, no issues. <laughs> and Miss Q was even like, when she commented, she was like, carry it some more. And I was like, I did. <laughs> so this worked really well for me. And I think I've been on this red kick, even though I love red, <laughs> but I've just been using red bags. So I was in this and moved out of it and I probably could have done this on a throwback Thursday this bag here was one the collection apparently was awesome I was late to Dooney when this was available but I was able to get my hands on this baby and this bag here I try not to carry it often because I want to preserve it because it's the only one that I have from this collection what bag am I talking about <laughs> I don't even know the technical name for the collection. I just remember it had this printed duck on it right here. And I always hear people say they duck fell off. They wanted to find it, to glue it back on, or they lost it, didn't know it came off. Mine so far is still on there. My bag is still in excellent condition. The leather has gotten darker or patinaed as we say over time. But this bag here, and I just love the that sound of the leather there. I just I have just always loved that about this bag. <laughs> so I'm sure you all will tell me in the comments what the actual name of this bag is. I've just called it my favorite red hobo. And it fits on my arm like this. And I actually pondered about if you watch Mono's Beauty, she did a bag review slash reveal about her nylon Erica. And I was like, do I need a red hobo like Erica? <laughs> and then I went and looked in my closet and I remembered I had this. And I was like, well, I have that brown trim strap, well, Sierra leather trap, trap, <laughs> strap, <laughs> trimmed in brown here, bag is red. It's a shoulder bag slash hobo. So I was like, it kind of was going to be two different bags, but could serve the same purpose. So what I do, I just went and looked at the blue one in the Erica and Nylon. Because <laughs> that's, that's what we handbaggers do in the community. <laughs> but when I came across this, I was like, that's my next bag I'm moving into. I have always loved this bag simply because of the comfortable carry. The straps are perfect on my arm. I know some people have issues with certain straps, either falling off their arm, not passing the elbow test, or the strap is too thin. So different straps work for different people for various reasons. Um, so that's why you kind of have to know what type of style bags you like. This one works for me. The strap on my arm was comfortable. You can adjust it. I have not adjusted it. And I don't know how long once I got it on the right setting for me, it has stayed there. And like I say, it is trimmed in the brown as well. It's red pebble leather. The duck is kind of like a, would you say that's like a, it almost looks like a cheetah print from far away. And the bag is showing up true to color. It is a pretty, pretty shade of red. And here's the duck up close and it has like a little thing there for its eye. So I just thought this collection is just pretty. And so knock on wood, if I can find some nearby, <laughs> I know, like I say, the biggest thing I've seen several on the resale market and YouTube videos, just even in people's comments saying that they lost a duck and they hate that they lost it because they wanted to glue it back on there because they loved it on there so much. So I totally get that. So this bag here has been my carry and no pocket on the back. This is the front. She has no feet on the bottom. I can show you my 
corners. She's well loved. Love marks from me, myself. And like I say, this is the only bag that I have. And of course, I got the red one because I was like, well, if I'm going to get one, get your favorite color first. <laughs> so that's what I did. But this one here is very classy. I'm going to show you what I have on the inside. This is how mine looks on the inside. And I will pull all these items out so you can see them. And the lining, I will show you after I take everything out. So first off, the bag does snap closed. And yes, with all my stuff in there, it does snap closed. So. So it has this one little snap button feature on both sides there. So on the inside here, let's get into the bag. First off, I have a water bottle. It has been very hot, muggy, so I keep it filled with ice. And this is just a little um, Target Room Essentials water bottle that I got. At, it might have been $6, and it works. It keeps the stuff cold, at least for the eight hours I'm at working. I still have ice in there from when I was out earlier today. So have that in there. And this is, I don't have a water bottle nearby, but it's the size of like a, what is that, a 16 ounce water bottle. My favorite Bath and Body scent, Moonlight Path. Yes, I have the big one in here. So I just figured I don't have that many of the small travel size ones left, so I had to go to my big one. <laughs> For my wallet, again, my favorite Dooney and Burke accessory, my tech top, and look at that red together. So yes, I went all the way out with red. I was like, I'm just gonna make everything coordinate. <laughs> so this I used as my wallet as, you know, whenever you see this, it's always used as my wallet. So this is the tech top pouch. And I did see when I had mentioned this in another video that they were making a version similar to this, that version, I hate when they tweak stuff, but the version that's available now on Dooney.com is the one that has the wristlet strap that is attached on one side and you can't take it loose to connect it on the other side. So I love this version for the simple fact I can carry it by the handle, if I can get this back off, because see it actually has a ring there to connect it. So you can carry it this way, which is the way I love carrying it. So, but they have a nylon blue one and maybe a few other colors on there and pebble leather, but it's the one, like I say, where the strap is only attached on one side. So maybe they'll bring this style back out. So that was my wallet. Next, I have been loving this. <laughs> These bright colors that came out in the Coach Pride collection. This here was my tech pouch with just my battery chargers in there for work phone and my personal phone. So just the regular power bank. And these little things, I've seen people use them as wallets candy pouches, coin pouches, whatever you want to use them for, but they are very handy and useful. You can use them for so many different things. If you just run out to the gas station, you just need your card. And maybe if you have a single key, fit in here, grab it and go, wristlet strap, and you're all set. But I used it as my tech pouch this time. Next time I use it, it might be used for coins. Next time it could possibly be for receipts. So I've used them for different things. So of course it coordinated with the red. So that was a perfect pair. Then this is my queen bee pouch from Marshalls. And this is my catch all. And it's just queen and then a bee symbol there. This here is the usual stuff that you see. My cough drop pouch, fingernail file, deodorant, my duck from Suzwood, 
the Tide Pen Lip Balm. I restocked on my Shea Butter Lotions when they had the $2.95 at Bath & Body. <laughs> the Tape Measure. And... Um, mascara and another um, lip balm. So use that for a catch-all. And this is like the perfect size pouch. In comparison to the Coach Corner Zip Wristlet, it's very, very com well small for so you don't have a big old gaudy pouch to use so that was the catch-all pouch the little target dollar spot i use this just to put my hand sanitizers in just so it spilled out pouch is wipeable and these are just the non-scented hand sanitizer sprays from bath and body so i just have two of those in here The coin pouch that matches this, this here, literally is just coins and a few receipts still in there. Then the pencil case with the radio print and I might need to take some out because it is overflowing with pins, but you can never have enough pins. And then, of course, wouldn't be me if I didn't have some random papers in here at the bottom. And my son's skateboard that he thought he was going to take into school. And here is the inside. I believe this is the gingham lining, I want to say. But it's the one that looks like white and pink or white and red lining. You have the Dooney and Burke nameplate back there. The big zipper pocket that goes the, almost the length of the bag. In there, I have receipts and some appointment cards. And it's getting a little dirty in there. Then, this is one of the few bags I have that has a leather key keeper. So, and the gold hardware. And if you watch Miss Q, she's always saying how the hardware doesn't match the bag. So <laughs> this is one of the few that they had that actually match the hardware on the strap there. But leather key keeper. And then on the opposite side, here's that little pocket, I guess, from cell phones back in 20, 30 years ago. Maybe an old flip phone that used to fit in there. And let me show you. So this is the pen pouch. It's wide enough for that, but that's how long, <laughs> that's how much fits in there. A pen even sticks out like that. Um, let me show you a sanitizer spray. I don't put anything in there because my keys won't fit in there. My phone won't fit in there. Just sanitizer spray. It fits in there, but like that. So... I just don't use the pocket. I guess you could put candy or something in there or maybe receipts or something, but. So that's it to the bag. So open shoulder bag slash hobo. That type of lining. And a lot of people I have seen just use the pouch method like I do or either a bag organizer to keep the lining from getting dirty. You know me, I have not tried to clean. <laughs> My bags, but most of the time I have pouches, so I'm pretty safe for the most part. But this is my bag. And the color red. And everything paired so well. It was a great carry, and you saw everything that I had in there. So I was good to go. And I just love the sound of this letter. <laughs> but yes. So I just wanted to come on and show you what all I had been carrying. And like I said, it could have been a throwback Thursday, but I just didn't have time to film it on Thursday or before Thursday so you could see it on Thursday. But here she is, and I can show you the dimensions really quick because I have my tape measure. 
Okay. So, if we do from one corner, So if we do from one corner let's see here now granted my bag is old so it's kind of relaxed but just to give you a gist it is coming up at almost 13 if I do it that way if I do it across the front we are at it's kind of hard to do here. <laughs> We're at 14. Right at 14 there. As far as height, I'm going to go from the middle of the bag where this seam is. And we'll just say 11 because mine has probably stretched some. And from the widest part of the bag, it is at 15. So we'll just say 11 tall and maybe we'll just say 13 at the bottom. But like I say, mine is, it's relaxed so much. And you see how it comes up on the sides here. But at the widest part, it was 15. So it definitely expands if you need more space. The opening is wide enough so that you don't have issues getting in and out. And I just wanted to share this with you. And I thank you all so much for watching. And I will see you in the next one.